Ford positive. Here comes Marner. Fire and scores! It's 47 seconds in! Hello everyone and welcome back to Job NHL Vlogs and today's video is an upcoming game out to video. But before you get to this one, watch guys to please leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, hit the notification, leave your comments down below if you guys have any thoughts you're gonna be going to. If you guys are planning going to this game, any other thoughts and feelings you guys have in general on this announcement nice video, feel free to leave comments down below. I'd like to see you guys on there. Alright guys, this is jump right to it. So before I get into this announcement video today for you guys, just want to say I'm gonna be returning to NHL content. Once again, obviously, as you guys can see, I'm wearing the Leafs jersey right now, so it's going to be a Leafs game in Altavilla, and I'm finally going back to the Leafs game once again. It's been a while, actually. It's been since December 14th, 2023, it's since I last one, so it's been over two months. It's actually also my first official game in 2024, my first official NHL game of 2024. Not really counting the All-Star game because it's a little bit different, it's not like a normal game, but first official and normal game of 2024 for NHL, so really excited. Can't wait to finally go to my first one officially of the year for NHL. Very excited to tell you guys the game I'm going to be going to. Yeah, it should be a good one. But anyways, guys, let's get to the game I'm going to be going to. So, the game I'm going to be going to is going to be the Toronto Maple Leafs against the Vegas Golden Knights. And it's going to be on Tuesday, February 27th, 2024. 7 p.m. puck drop at the Scotia Red Green in downtown Toronto. And I'm very excited about this game because also I'm going to be seeing the 2023 Stanley Cup champions. Playing live in person, the Vegas Golden Knights. Obviously, if you guys don't know, the Golden Knights did win the Stanley Cup last year over the Florida Panthers, thankfully, because we did lose to them. So it's good that they avenged us there. The Vegas Golden Knights, they beat them, I think, 4-1 in the series. So that was really good, and they won the Stanley Cup. So, And that was their first ever Stanley Cup. I mean, Vegas, I mean, they're a really good over organization, really good team. And also, guys, this is also the second time seeing the Golden Knights and the Leafs play it's Scotia Red Green, obviously the second time I've ever seen Vegas, because I saw it for the very first time last season. And obviously, guys, if you don't remember, it was a vlog on my channel, Leafs vs. Golden Knights. It was on November 2022. We ended up losing 4-3. Yeah, Leafs lost 4-3 in overtime. That was actually Vegas' first ever win in Toronto as well, which was, which was really cool to see. But yeah, that is, it should be a good game. I mean, it should be a good matchup anyways. I don't think the Leafs are going to win this game personally. Because Vegas is just way too good. I mean, like, Vancouver is way better this year. I mean, they're overtaking Vegas in the Pacific Division standings. But I think Vegas is honestly going to do good. I mean, if we won the game, I'd be pretty surprised, actually, if the Leafs ended up winning the game and actually doing well. But you never know. Every team has a bad night sometimes. But we'll see how it goes. But you know what? Overall, very excited. really like the Golden Knights. They're pretty much like my second favorite team. I really do like the Hurricanes, too, ever, ever since I went to Carolina as well. Pretty much my second and third spot is between Canes and Golden Knights, pretty much. But, yeah, Golden Knights are in my top three teams, so I really like them. So I wouldn't really care if we lost to them, to be honest. But I'm hoping the Leafs can still try to do something. But I don't know if it's going to happen personally. But, yeah, you know, uh, my thoughts on this game. You know, it should be a pretty good matchup. You know, seeing the Stanley Cup champions, really excited about that. You know, seeing Vegas again for the second time, really cool. Should be going with this game with my grandpa, too. And if you guys don't know, the Golden Knights are actually a second favorite team. So, yeah, it's probably going to be a bit of a rivalry because, he, yeah, Toronto's, like, usually fourth for him in hockey. So, yeah, he's probably going to be rooting for the Golden Knights over the Leafs in this one. He did the same thing last year as well. And, I mean, good thing for him that he did. I mean, at least my grandpa likes one good team because the Hawks, are obviously, are not very good right now. But, you know, I mean, overall, I mean, it should be a really good night to go. I mean, it's Tuesday night. I mean, like, yeah early in the week, but you know what, honestly, sometimes you just gotta do it, right, and I actually found about this game pretty early in the year, like, pretty much when, remember, I, when I told you guys I found out about a few games, this is one of them, this is actually, like, the latest one that was on that list, too, so, not sure if this is gonna be my last game, I'm gonna have to find out if I get more in the future, but, yeah, as of right now, this is probably gonna be the last one, unless if things happen, I mean, things could still happen, right, I mean, it might be able to still go in March, but, you guys will have to find out when the time comes, but, yeah, you know, overall, very excited for the game. You know, I'm really excited, you know, seeing the Stanley Cup champions, you know, get to see some of their great players. You know, Jack Eichel, of course, yeah, he's going to probably do good. And, you know, Mark Stone, Jonathan Marchessault, Petrangelo, you know, all those guys. Even Aiden Hill. I mean, if they put Aiden Hill in, oh, man, that's going to be tough. Or Logan Thompson, if he's still there. But, yeah, if they put Aiden Hill, I don't know. I don't know if we're even going to do anything, to be honest. I don't know. This game might be a tough one, but you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if Vegas won the game again, to be honest. But, yeah, hopefully that the Leafs will still do okay. You know, hopefully that we'll still try to do something. But, 
It's not really guaranteed, especially with the way we've been playing this year. It's been kind of meh. But usually the Leafs do play better against, uh, you know, teams with better records. That's not for sure. But usually it does happen where we do end up playing a little bit better against the better teams in the league. So we'll see how it goes, right? We'll have to see what happens when I'm there. And I'm really hoping we can get pizza again. You know, I'm really hoping that we'll get pizza. It's going to not be easy to do that. But if we end up getting pizza, hey, I'll take it. I'll, I'll take it any day of the week, you know, for real. And, you know, even Mr. Blue Jay Noah as well, MBGN, shout out to you as well. I want to talk about that because he actually got to have pizza in his first game as well, Max Domi. And he beat me to Max Domi. I never seen Max Domi score, guys, by the way, with any of his teams. So, Mr. Blue Jay Noah actually beat me there to him. And even like Riley got to see Lilligren, that 5 3 loss, you know, to the Avalanche. I mean, that was a tough game, though, Mr. Blue Jay Noah. I mean, I'm surprised they even played Panama, too. They even played Panama that game. And you know what's unfortunate for me, though, guys? I have to say this. Because the Golden Knights game, I'm not sure if this is going to... I think it should be a regular game with the Dupe Ghost on, the Avalanche Ghost on. Like the, you know, the... You know, it's like the same thing. You guys kind of know what I'm talking about. Like the Dupe, Dude, 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 Son. So you know what's going to be weird, though? They're playing Panama three times in a row after I go, which is actually kind of unfortunate. Because Thursday night, they're playing Arizona, obviously. Throw, throwback Thursday. Then Saturday night they're playing the Rangers, and Monday night they're playing the Bruins. Oh man, that 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 is unfortunate though. Like to be honest, I I can't even like see Panama at least because I really like Panama Goson way better than uh, Dupe Son. So that's a little bit unfortunate for me there. That literally three games right after all Panama games, so that's tough. And then there's Buffalo after the Bruins game, which will probably be a regular one too. So yeah, it's a long homestand. It's like a five game homestand. I'm going to the first game of it, so. I mean, we'll see. If we end up winning, I'd say it's worth it. And if we get pizza as well and get free chicken nuggets from Popeyes, I mean, that'd be worth it as well. Also, another thing with Popeyes, you can actually redeem it when you're when you're not even at the game. As long as you have, like, the Leafs app. And, yeah, it works. So, yeah, it still works. But they have to score a power play going home only. It doesn't work on the road, unfortunately. I wish they could do it for the road, too. But, yeah, we actually did redeem nuggets against the Stars. When they won 5-4, to four, they did score a power play goal. I think they scored a couple of them that game. Yeah, we ended up going to Popeyes and it ended up working. So, that, I mean, yeah. So, basically, that's a tip. If you guys want free nuggets, as long as they score a free power play going home and you have the Leafs app, then it works. So, that's just a bit of a tip. So, you don't even have to go to the game to get it. But the pizza one, I think, is game only. I think because you got to scan the QR code. So, I think that one you have to be there live. But the nuggets you can get anytime as long as they do it at home. At home. Not, not away. So, just remember that, guys. But... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's because they play late in California and Vegas itself. Actually, they're going to be going on a road trip before, like, they're playing Vegas as well and Arizona. Like, they're doing, like, Vegas, Arizona, and Colorado and St. Louis. I'm actually filming this pretty early on, too. Doing this well in advance. Doing it before even, like, the St. Louis afternoon game at 1 p.m., which is crazy. But, yeah, it's so early, though. Why would they, why would they play so early? I, I don't know why. But, yeah, I don't know about that. But, you know... Anyways, guys, but yeah, you know, pretty cool that they're actually going to be playing Vegas and Arizona just before they're going to be playing them at home, too, back-to-back, -back. so that's pretty cool, actually. So yeah, it's going to be pretty cool that we're getting both of our meetings done with Vegas in, like, five days, same with Arizona and like, a little bit longer, but, you know, it's going to be pretty cool. And also, Arizona, I'm just missing Alex Kerfoot, too, which is unfortunate, I know. You know what, I would have honestly rather the Arizona game, but I know we always lose to Arizona, and we always, like, lose to them in, like, controversial fashion, because... You guys remember back in like 2017, Matthews got that goal called back, and that sucked. That was bad. And the same thing happened last season as well on October 17, 2022. It was 3 2 for Arizona. The Leafs tied it, and then they called it back for a hand pass by Morgan Riley, I think. So, you see, and I'm telling you, it's just controversial loss to Arizona. I even saw the Leafs in Arizona live. Or not in Arizona, yeah, at least was Arizona and Toronto live in 2019. They lost 4 2. So, see, there you go. They only won one game in overtime. And you know what was weird? Arizona actually did end up winning the game at first. It was 3-2 Arizona. And then they called it back. And then we got to go to win it. And they didn't challenge that. So it's kind of weird. It seems like Arizona games always have so much controversy. And even in like overtime in that 2022 game when we lost 5-4 to four at home. And they're, all, and they're all at home too. All these controversial losses too. They're all pretty much at home versus Arizona. Uh, like, I think it was, like, a, 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 like, I don't know if someone, like, got, like, I don't know if they did, like, a hook on Matthews or something like that. I'm not sure about that, but it was, like, something, like, about overtime, some controversy. We were down 4-1. We 
we were down 4-1 in that game. We came all the way back to tie, and then we lost in overtime because the refs didn't look at it. I guess something happened. There was, like, some penalty, but I guess they didn't call it or something. So, I don't know. A lot of controversial loss to Arizona. So, in a way, for that reason, I don't really want to see them because, you know, pretty much every Arizona versus Leafs game in Toronto, it's always so much controversy around that matchup. But, you know, I mean, Vegas... I mean, we'll see what happens. Vegas is a really good team, so I don't know if we're actually going to win, but I mean, we'll see. And then they're playing the Rangers, but I mean, they're a pretty good team as well on the Bruins. I mean, they're actually playing a lot of good teams other than like Arizona, which they're probably going to lose to anyways, but they're pretty much going to like, they're playing a lot of good teams in the homestand too. Like they're playing, you know, Vegas really good. Rangers are really good. Bruins are good. So yeah, it's going to be tough. It's actually a tough homestand. I'm not going to lie. Even that's five games. I mean, it's going to be really tough to win against all these good teams. I mean, it's going to take a lot. It's going to take a lot of offense. It's going to take a lot of defense. Really hope we'll play good defense, too. Even Samson, I was, like, coming back better, too. So, hopefully he'll do good as well. Or maybe maybe even Joseph Wall will be back. I don't know when Joseph Wall's coming back, guys. I don't know. I really want to see him back, you know? Like, come on. Where's Joseph Wall, man? Like, is he okay? Like, if he's better, put him back in the net. Or maybe he's trying to... Make sure that he's fully ready. Maybe they're just trying to make sure he's fully ready. I don't know why it's taking so long for him to go back. Or even Martin Jones. I never see him play, so I would really like to see him play too. I really hope I can see Martin Jones. But if not, then that would, that's fine, honestly. Samson obviously starting to come back. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully that he'll do well if he ends up in net for the game. We'll see what happens there. But yeah, whatever it is, you know, I'm still really excited. You know, it should be fun. It should be a fun Tuesday night, you know. Two good teams going at it. I mean, the Leafs have been kind of mad. But you know... You know, pretty good matchup. Can't wait. You know, two teams I really like. So it should be a good one. And, you know, pretty much me versus my grandpa again for the second time this year. So it's going to be a little bit of a family rivalry there once again with me and my grandpa because he likes Vegas more than Toronto in hockey. So, yeah, we're going to see how that goes. Uh, hoping that both teams do well, to be honest. You know, I don't really care if we lose this game because I do like Vegas. So, honestly, whoever wins... Honestly, GG's, like whoever wins. But I'm really hoping the Leafs do well. Hoping we can at least score a few times. Hoping we can get free pizza in the first period. Score for the first period. Hoping Nylander can do it. I'm really hoping I can see Max Domi score because no one did beat me to it. I'm kind of like a little bit jealous about that. And I'm not just kidding, Mr. Blue Jay Noah. But I really want to see him score now. You know, like, come on, let's at least get even, Mr. Blue Jay Noah. But, you know, I mean, Mr. I mean, yeah, MBGN, uh, Mr. Blue Jay Noah. But, you know, he actually had a pretty good first game. I'm not going to lie to you. No, you had a good first game for NHL. Even though they blew a 3-0 lead, lost 5-3. You know, that was still a pretty good game, though. I mean, if I were you and if I knew that was going to happen, I probably would have left in the first period. I'm not going to lie. After, like, the QR code, I would have just ran out of the arena if I knew we were going to blow a lead like that. But, but you, I mean, you don't know. Like, we don't know. We can't predict the we can't predict the future, guys. How are we supposed to know if we we're going to like, blow a lead or not? But, hey, if I knew that, I would have just I would have just taken the free pizza and the chicken nuggets. I just would have ran out of the arena. I'd be like, all right, um, I've seen Panama three times, seen Domi score, seen Riley score, seen Lilligren score. That's enough for me. I'm out. <laughs> Yeah, you know, just, yeah, it's just classic comedy for me there. But, you know, still really good. You know, still a good matchup. I'm really hoping at least do well. Hopefully we get pizza. Hopefully we win somehow. Hopefully we find a way to win somehow. That would be great. But overall, go both teams, honestly. I don't really care if Vegas wins. I'm still going to probably root for the Leafs, though, even though they're the home. I, I'm really mainly rooting for the Leafs because they're the home team, and I've been liking them for so long. So I still got to root for the Leafs first. But, you know, Honestly, if Vegas Golden Knights win, GG, so I don't really care, honestly, who wins this game. But I'm really hoping we win, especially with Detroit and, you know, Tampa Bay, like, kind of on us right now. So, we really got to hope that we win the game. We, yeah, we really got to hope we win the game. And just hoping we play well that night. Hoping we can do our best. Just, you know, do our best to defend, do offense, get goals, and make some great saves by Samsonov or whoever's in that Jones or Wall. We'll see what happens there. But, yeah, anyways... Pretty much going to do it, guys. So have a great day, guys. And I will see you guys on the next video. It's been, yeah, yeah, as well. Yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, I want you guys to please leave a like on this video. Scratch out if you're new. Hit notifications. Leave your comments down below if you guys have any thoughts you're going to be going to. If you guys are going to this game or planning going to this game. Any other thoughts and feelings you guys have in general. All those thoughts and feel, feel free to say comments below. Let's see you guys on there. And again, guys, just to confirm the game going to be going to is going to be the Toronto Maple Leafs against the Vegas Golden Knights. And it's going to be on Tuesday. February 27, 2024, and it's going to be at 7 p.m. at Scotiabank Arena in downtown Toronto. Puck drop. So, that's pretty much going to do it, guys. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you guys on the next video. It's, it's probably either going to be footage from the Wolves or Steelers game. This, yeah, you guys might be seeing this actually before the Steelers content comes out because I'm basically going back-to-back, -back, going 25th for Steelers, 
27th released for his Golden Knights. So you guys are probably going to see that first, and then you guys will see footage from this game. Leafs for his Golden Knights, so stay tuned for footage from both the Steelers and the Leafs games. And yeah, stay tuned for that. And the post games are a little bit late. Sorry about that, guys. So yeah. You guys, I think I will actually separate the post games though. So yeah, I will separate them. But yeah, you guys, whenever I can get all the videos up, you guys will see them. They'll, they'll be all up eventually. So don't worry about that. But yeah, guys, stay tuned for more content. You know, if you guys subscribe, you know, hit notifications, ring the bell so you never miss another video. And that's pretty much going to do, guys. So have a great day, guys. And I'll see you guys next time. So go, let's go! Hopefully we can beat the Golden Knights. I know I like the Golden Knights. I don't really care who wins the game, to be honest. But, you know, still go Leafs go. Hopefully we win the game. Hopefully we get some great offense, great defense. Hopefully we can see some rare goals. Hopefully we can see a few goals. Maybe Nylander, maybe Matthews, Marner, Tavares. We'll see if they can get it done. I probably I might be wearing the Matthews jersey, the one I'm wearing right now, to the game as well. Just because it's a good team, might have to do it because Matthews can really be good luck in some situations. So, yeah, I'm really hoping that Matthews jersey will get us the win. But yeah, really hoping for all the best. You know, hoping that the Leafs will play well. Hoping we'll get a win. Hope we get free pizza. In, yeah, free pizza in the first period. Score for us in the first period. And hope we get a free Popeyes chicken nuggets again with the power play goal. So hoping we can get some more Popeyes chicken nuggets for free. And that'd be great, guys. You know, hoping for free food. Hoping we play well. Good get you know get a few goals. Get a great offense. Great defense. Can't wait for your game. Should be a fun night. And can't wait for it. Can't wait to share it with you guys. But anyways, guys, that's pretty good. Do guys. Have a great day, guys. Yeah, have a great day, guys. And I'll see you guys next time. So, go, let's go! And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out!